angels it's Jill Zellum from Catalyst Plus and I'm your Queen Calculator today I hope well first up I hope you had an awesome weekend and happy Mun yay I'm pretty excited for the week it's it's going to be a pretty big week again for our job keeper week number two so um, this week we are at the very end of a whole heap of our um, our JobKeeper eligibility calculations. And today we will be sending out all of our final um, forms for you to sign that are for our records to authorize us. Um, so watch out for those, they're coming out to you. Um, and, and those of you that have booked in for later this week, you will get those forms after we have that meeting. So um, it's a big week and we're, we're pumped and ready to rock and roll. So that's exciting. Now, I wanted to talk to, our, to you all and thank you all for joining. I wanted to talk to you all about the apprentice wage subsidy as well as the job keeper. Now, I've got plenty of employers who have got apprentices and they have been applying for the apprentice subsidy and nothing's happened. We've not heard anything about it. Now that's because it seems that since they've released the job keeper subsidy, what they're doing is they're holding off and waiting to find out if you are going to apply for job keeper. If you apply for job keeper, you aren't also allowed to apply for the apprentice wage subsidy. So they, they're considering that that's a double dip and the wage subsidy is for $21,000 of wages versus JobKeeper, which is 39,000 per apprentice. So that is um, if, if you take the whole duration of the time. So if your business has been affected by the COVID-19 instructions um, for, for you know, community physical distancing and things like that, then you uh, are maybe eligible for JobKeeper, which is the 1500 per fortnight per eligible employee um, that is reimbursed to you the following month. So, um, so yeah, so if you're going to get JobKeeper, the, you won't also be able to receive the apprentice and wage subsidy. So that's just um, an update on that one. And I know some of you were really, really hoping for the apprentice subsidy, but we need to just weigh it up with the JobKeeper. Um, like I said, JobKeeper for the full duration is equivalent to around 39,000 per employee. Um, so for that's, that's for the full 26 weeks that it covers. Um, and, oh, actually, maybe I did that wrong. Sorry, seven, hang on. I did 1,500 for 26. Hang on, that was a mistake. Eh. Arrays, arrays, give me more coffee on a Monday. Um, 750 by 26 is 19,500. That makes way more sense. 19,500, I'm sorry, I made a mistake, but I caught it out. Um, I will get more coffee. So I hope, I hope that helps. So it's 19,500 for the JobKeeper subsidy um, versus the apprentice subsidy of 21,000. So it's almost the same, it's about $1,500 different. Um, so that's why you're not entitled to get both of them. So yeah, so that's, that's it. And I hope that this was helpful. Sorry, I had a brain fart with my calculatoring earlier, but um, yeah, that's it. I'm human love you all and i hope you have an awesome awesome day tomorrow i'll see you and in the meantime heaps and heaps and heaps of calculator hugs see you later